It's time to predict the scores of week 30 of this 2022-2023 championship season. Before we do that though, a quick look at the overall leaderboard over at Superbrew shows that GKK474 is still top of the leaderboard with 260 points, followed as usual in second place by Mark Chapman on 248 and a half points. So let's move quickly on to game week 30. First up on Friday evening, third February we've got West Brom coming up against Coventry City. West Brom last time out losing against Burnley in the league and Coventry having a very good 2-0 home victory against relegation battlers. Huddersfield in this one I think the home team should or will come out with all three points and I'm going to go for a straightforward 2-0 home win at the Hawthorns. Then we move on to the Saturday fixtures where Norwich take on Burnley. Burnley, look at that, seven victories on the bounce in the league. The league. And Norwich, back-to-back -back victories as well. I tipped them earlier in the season to actually win the division. However, in this one, I think Burnley will just be a little bit too strong for them. And I'm gonna go for a 2-1 away victory to the Clarets. We then move on to Rotherham coming up against Sheffield United and Rotherham doing quite well recently. Uh, a win against Blackburn Rovers and a draw against Watford where they, they really should have won that match actually. Uh, Sheffield United now f six victories in their last seven matches seems them in second position. I think Rotherham will score in this one. However, I do suspect that the Blades will come away with all three points. I'm gonna go for a 2-1 away victory. Then we've got Huddersfield coming up against QPR. Now, earlier in the season, you think QPR would win this one. However, they're in all sorts of problems. Uh, four draws in their last five matches. Defeated heavily away against Hull City last time out and Huddersfield as well losing against Coventry. I think this one's going to end up in a draw and I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one scoreline. Then we move on to the MKM uh, Stadium where in fact Hull City do take on Cardiff City. Um, Hull now only one defeat in their last six and Cardiff can't buy a win. Last victory was way back in November. Narrowly losing against Luton late late on in that match on Tuesday evening. Defensively they're quite solid but they can't score goals so this is either going to be a victory to Hull or a draw. I'm going to have to go for a 1-0 home win to the Tigers in this one. Then we move on to Kenilworth Road where Luton Town take on Stoke City. I think this one should be a straightforward win to Luton, especially against this Luton uh, Stoke City side who've only won once in their last five matches. will be a 4-0 home victory against Reading, but I think Luton will come away with all three points in this one, and I'm going to go for a 2-0 scoreline. Then we've got Middlesbrough coming up against Blackpool. Blackpool 23rd in the table at the moment. No wins in their last six matches. Middlesbrough going from strength for strength. A good victory against Watford last time out, season third in the table, and I'm going to go for another 2-0 scoreline in this fixture. Then we move on to the Den, where Mill will take on Sunderland. Sunderland currently in ninth position. They'll want to push back into those playoff places where Millwall as well, just one point uh, or position above them. I think this one's going to be a very, very tight match. However, I do see Millwall just coming away with a 1-0 victory. Then we've got Preston North End coming up against Bristol City. Now, Bristol City haven't actually lost this calendar year. Something you couldn't say before Christmas. Uh, and Preston, a good 2-1 victory in their last fixture. Um, should have played in the last game week, but that match was postponed. So, another tight one to call. I'm just going to edit, edge it to Preston because they are at home and I'm going to go for a 1-0 win. Then we've got Reading against Watford. A bit of a local derby, this one. Tough one to call. Watford haven't won in the last two matches. Reading looking not great. I'm actually going to go for a victory to Watford in this one. I do think they'll concede, but I think... The Hornets will come away with a 2-1 win. 
Then Swansea at home against Birmingham. Swansea couldn't buy anyone or didn't actually purchase anybody in the January transfer window, which their fans aren't too happy about. Birmingham City losing their last five matches on the bounce. I think Swansea will take all three points in this one. I'm going to go for a 2-0 home win to the Jacks. Then we've got Blackburn Rovers coming up against Wigan Athletic. Wigan Athletic look absolutely terrible. No wins in the last seven. Blackburn not looking great either, but I will go for a 2-0 win to the Rovers in this one. Then we've got a rearranged fixture of Blackpool against Huddersfield. This takes place on Tuesday evening. I am going to keep the scoreline that I did predict early in the season. It's 23rd against 22nd. And I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw. So that concludes my predictions for week 30 of this 2022-2023 championship season. Make sure you do leave your predictions over at the Super Brew website. See if you can climb up that table. Let's see if we can catch the leaders there. But thanks for joining me once again. Enjoy the football over the weekend and I'll see you all in the next video.